Welcome to this tutorial for the Feed Scroll Generator app for Autodesk Inventor. I'm excited to tell you about this one because this is a feature that's been requested by many users of the app in the last few years. And it's the ability to provide a bottle oversize, a bottle clearance that can be varied at any point along the shaft, effectively giving you the ability to provide a soft entry or a soft exit for the bottles from the shaft so that the bottles can't get jammed up as they're entering the shaft. It gives them a bit more clearance, a bit more space to move around and get themselves into position. And we've actually provided two ways to provide this clearance for the bottles. You can see the first way here, which is that all around the bottle we provide a equal clearance uh, of a specified number of millimeters. I'm going to stop this simulation by hitting the delete key and I'll show you the other kind of oversize that we can provide as well automatically with the app. So this is the first kind which is this all round clearance and then that's reduced as we go along the shaft because that's what we've specified to do. Let me show you the second kind and then we'll look at actually creating this. So here's the second kind here. Let me um, head into the app and I'll show you more clearly with a preview. Okay, so if we look at this one here, it's different because we're not providing an equal clearance all the way around. We're actually extending the bottle left and right, but not up and down. Exactly as if we'd split the bottle in the middle and moved one half this way and the other half this way and then joined it up the gap in the middle. This was a feature requested by a few users of the app as it's a very common way of easing the entry of the bottles into the shaft. Okay, so let's take a look at the simple tools that enable us to add this bottle oversize, bottle clearance. Inside the normal app form here, if we scroll down to the bottle oversize section, this is where the magic happens. And it's simply just a case of toggling the bottle oversize on and off here and specifying the size of the oversize you want at the start and the end. And then how far from the start you want the oversize to start changing and how far from the end you want it to stop changing. You can see here from this symbol, we're actually applying the all round, the equal oversize at the moment. I can toggle that on and off. If I hit this, so you see now we've got no oversize applied, and now we've got the oversize applied with the numbers that we've specified here. You notice here we don't have the option of applying the stretch oversize that I showed you a second ago. The reason for that is the stretch oversize is not permitted where we have bottle rotation. This makes sense because as the bottle rotates, the stretch would also change direction and it becomes very complex and probably not a very useful feature if the bottle is actually rotating. Let's cancel out of this builder and I'll show you in the other part that we just looked at how we can toggle to the stretch oversize as well if we don't have bottle rotation. So that's the only limitation there. Let's open the app form here. And now because there is no bottle rotation, we have both options for bottle oversize available. You can see here we've specified the stretch oversize, but we can toggle, if I click this one here, that's oversize off, that's equal oversize now, and then this is the stretch oversize now. Let's head back to the other part so that we can have a play with those numbers, defining the size of the oversize here. Okay, so there aren't really any limitations on how big or how small you want the oversize to be. You know, we can enter a really big value in here, which probably wouldn't make much sense in practice, 30 millimeters. This is a diameter oversize here, so this will be 15 millimeters on each side right, and the radius. And we can also enter any value we want for the end, the oversize at the end of the shaft. You see at the moment we've got a zero value, but if I zoom in here, I could just put a small clearance at the end, for instance, of one millimeter, for instance, and you'll see just a very small clearance being applied there, which is a very useful feature to maybe have a bit of clearance all the way along, even if you don't want a soft entry feature at the at the start here. So let's maybe reduce this down to something a bit more sensible. And let's take a look at how we're controlling the change in this bottle oversize as we move along the shaft. Let's just take a look at the information labels here. So we can see this is the distance at the start of the shaft 
before the bottle oversize starts changing to the end value. So I'm pretty much changing it straight away. But what I could do, if I wanted this oversize to last a little longer at the start, I could put in a slightly higher number here. It can't equal the total length of the shaft here, otherwise uh, we'd get a clash. Um, so I can make the oversize stay for 70 millimeters before it starts reducing. Or I could say, no, start changing it straight away, enter a value of zero. And then if I wanted to have the oversize reduce much quicker than this, so it's pretty much disappeared by here, I would have to increase the end lead out value. If we look at the symbol here, you see I want the oversize to reach its final value, let's say 80 millimeters after the start of the shaft. What I'd have to do is just a little maths here. 80 millimeters after the start of the shaft is going to be 460 millimeters from the end of the shaft. Okay, so if I scroll down here and if I enter 460 here, you'll see that the oversize disappears much quicker at the start here. Okay, so this would just be a really just the initial lead in would be soft entry and we'd get rid of the soft entry before we start turning the bottles here. Okay, so hopefully you're seeing the flexibility of this method. Uh, if I scroll over to the stretch one here and let's hit generate on this one. Again, exactly the same principles apply here. We can apply a nice big oversize at the start, for instance, if we wanted. And this might be impractical in this case because we don't have really enough of a divider between the bottles, but you get the idea. Let's see the finished result of this one here. I've made some changes, but we'll just see the previous build that I did on this shaft. If I hit to simulate here, I'll say, yeah, I do want to continue just so you can see the finished result. Okay, so this is the stretch oversize and this is the effect that it has. If I uh, just drag this around, you can see that there's a, a stretch clearance applied at the start and then that disappears uh, very quickly as specified. Okay, so one thing you might be wondering at this point is what kind of bottle shapes can I apply the oversize to? Well, I'm going to open up a few example parts that I created previously in Inventor to show you that the bottle oversize can effectively be applied to any bottle shape. 3D imported bottle solids as well as 2D sketched bottle profiles as long as the bottle meets the other conditions for use with the app which is that all the surfaces of the bottle in contact with the shaft need to be tangential to each other no sharp edges. If you meet that criteria you can apply both of these kinds of bottle oversize to any shape bottle. Okay so to demonstrate the flexibility of the bottle oversize tool being used with a few different bottle shapes here, let's just hit generate. This is the bottle from the tutorial number three where we imported a 3D bottle solid, which was a lofted profile. And I'll just show you the oversize on this. So here's the stretch oversize. For this bottle, you can see it's been stretched in the middle here. If I switch to, and you can see the oversize diminishing, decreasing as we go along here. If I switch to a uh, sort of equal bottle oversize here as well, that's with no bottle oversize specified. And this is the equal bottle oversize specified here. So you can see all round. Okay, so this is on the 3D solid. As I said before, as long as the 3D solid has tangential faces, and no sharp edges, then you can do the bottle oversize on it, same as you could with a 2D extruded bottle shape. So actually, let me show you the finished example on this one. Uh, if, I, if I hit to simulate. Okay, and you can see the stretch oversize here, the fact that we've got the clearance round here. And if we just spin it round, you can see that the fit is still perfect between the two but we've just applied this stretch here hopefully you can see that example here yep um, and if i finish this simulation i'll just show you a few other examples here let's hit cancel out of this build form so this is the same imported 3d solid but this time we've done a equal oversize you can see that equal oversize here it's interesting to do a measurement between these two bodies here that shows us what uh, what example oversize we've used if I hit 
measure between this face and this face, then we've got a clearance of exactly five millimeters between the two. So we must have applied an oversize of 10 millimeters equal oversize there between the two bodies or between the bottle and the shaft. So let's cancel out of that. And there's a few other examples here. Here's a finished one um, from tutorial number two, where we imported a 2D bottle profile from AutoCAD. You can see the stretch oversize that's been applied here. Here's another one. This is the tutorial number five bottle, which we've done an equal oversize on, and tutorial number five bottle again here, we've done a stretch oversize on. So we think it's a great new tool, adds a whole load of extra flexibility to the app to help you create the kind of shafts you need to create. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.